Hey, it's Joe Glantz from Automator, and uh, this is an extract from our new course, Rising Above PC Incompetence. And when I used to work at Corporate America, I'd look around at my colleagues and watch them use a computer, uh, and it was just painful because, and I'm not knocking them, right? They they work hard, and the thing is, they work, you know, crazy hours, and then they use a PC very inadequately, like they're just not geeks, which I don't blame them, but... Um, that's what this extract, like you'll see in here, we teach you how to use a computer more efficiently, right? So real quickly, the, the course right now has a little bit over four hours worth of content. There's 65 videos. The average length is about 3.7 minutes. So they're broken down into bite-sized things. We offer a double your money back guarantee. So whatever you pay for it, if you're not happy within the first 30 days, not only give you your money back, but we'll double what you paid for it. Um, you can get a quick outline here. I'll put the URL up on the page if you look at it. But we use, you know... Um, Learning, obviously, a lot of keystrokes, right, and navigation, just how to select text, how to do stuff with it, folder and file management. Uh, also, a lot of hotkeys for just launching, getting quickly to where you want to go, um, and just a lot of other tips. So check it out. Hope you enjoy the video. If you like the video, please like the video. It really helps us out. Check out the course if you're interested because, again, you probably use a computer a lot, and why not learn how to use it better? All right, cheers. There's a little-known thing that happens when you're dragging files and folders, probably on the desktop or in any other window. Um, some people don't know that while you're dragging, you have three different actions that you can perform and that you can do so by pressing different keys on your keyboard. And that's what I'm gonna show you today, um, especially when you're uh, moving stuff around different locations. This might come in very handy, so it's good to know that you can do this. Um, so let me go ahead and share my screen real quick. Go ahead and open up any folder or location, right? And uh, let's say that I have all my scripts from V1 here. Now, from here, I want to move something or copy it somewhere else. What we usually try to do is just drag and drop. But notice that as soon as I start dragging, it tells me move to that to the desktop because I'm moving that folder into the desktop. Fine, but this is interesting. If I try to do the same, let me open another window and I go ahead and open it into this other window instead, you will notice that if I drag and try to put it here, it says copy to this location. The reason for this is because they are on different drives. That's what's going on. So here we are on the C drive or the D drive, and this is on the S drive. And just dragging performs a different thing. It doesn't move the, the, the folder, it copies it. Now, if I try and move it to the same location on the, on the same drive, it just moves it. But you're not limited to that. Depending on what you want to do, you can press a key on your keyboard and it would change the default action. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's, um, let's just reset that. Let's go back to the example of me dragging into the desktop. But as I'm dragging, I can go ahead and press my control key. And now the action becomes copy. So let's say that I'm trying to drag but I don't want to lose my folder from the V1 folder. I just want to have a copy of it here. Moving is not gonna help me with that. I just want to copy it. Then I just press the control key on my keyboard and that actually allows me to um, get the um, a copy of the folder without deleting the previous one. The same happens if I press the Alt key, but with a different action. What happens here is that I would get a shortcut instead if i don't want to copy the whole thing i just want a shortcut then i can just start dragging and as i'm dragging i can just press my alt key and when i let go of my mouse then a shortcut will be created on the desktop so basically it's a very quick way for me to switch between the actions between moving copying and creating a shortcut and you can do so it doesn't matter where you are so basically going back to the previous example of having this other drive for example let me just open it in a new window if i have the other drive when i drag around it says copy well i don't want to copy i want to move it 
then in this case, I press the Shift key and it would move it instead. Remember that the Control key is always to copy. The Alt key is always to create a shortcut. And in this case, the Shift key is the one that helps you move something into a different location if the default action was to copy, right? So just keep those in mind. It is, it is something that with a little practice, you will get used to them. But once you know they're there, it's really cool because whenever I want to copy or create a shortcut or move something, I know that I just start dragging and then I choose what I want to do with that file.